Michael. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. So, New Hampshire Senate candidate Carla Garrick has been interfered with yet again uh, by the establishment. She's the uh, pro-liberty candidate running against Lou D'Alessandro for the second time. She's also a free stater. She says, quote, Even when you are asked to leave, you can still smile. Last evening, my friend Angela and I popped in at what was touted in an email from Brady Sullivan to residents of the loft, uh, the lofts at Mill West as, subquote, state representative candidates from Ward 11 will be available for a meet and greet, unsubquote. So basically, uh, unquote. <laughs> so basically, she's trying to go to a, a, a meet and greet for candidates because she saw an invitation to the public. So as the public, you'd think she can go, and she also happens to be a candidate. Next, she says, quote, I thought it was a great opportunity to meet vot- voters and decided to go. Turns out it was a private event organized on behalf of only Democrats, although there was no mention of party affiliation on anything I saw. I heard about it from someone on Facebook. The organizer politely made it clear she didn't want me there, and I offered to leave and did. We snapped this pic when leaving the building, where you can see the flyer simply says, Meet and Greet, Ward 11, State Representative Candidates. By the way, our matching t-shirts was purely coincidental. Co- coincidental, unquote. Well... Getting interfered with is something Carla Garrick, that's kind of her thing. The incident she's best known for is that time she was driving in a car behind another car. Someone she knew was in front of her. She, her friend in front of her got pulled over. This was after a meeting of the, um, uh, the, the Liberty Group in Ware, New Hampshire. So when uh, she got out of the car to try and film what was happening to her friend up front, you know, in the car in front, the police arrested her and charged her, her with wiretapping for having a camera in her hand. Actually, the camera battery had died and she wasn't even filming. Well, she took that to court and uh, then she sued, uh, I guess, the Ware Police Department and got, I think, 50 grand out of them. I believe this was in federal court. I believe it's also referred to as the Garrick decision. It's kind of the, the New Hampshire-sized version of the Glick decision in Massachusetts, which upheld the right to record. They chained her to a pole after arresting her. But it seems like there have been other incidents where she's been, you know, ejected from political events or whatnot. But she's she's been really active. I mean, I see her on Facebook all the time showing the latest event that she's at. She's taking the Senate run very seriously. And the fact that it is the second run, the fact that Lou D'Alessandro has been in for so long... Eventually, even Democrat wards like Lou D'Alessandro's, and even with such a nice candidate as Lou, he's a very uh, personable uh, uh, politician who will answer almost any question from almost any person. Eventually, people get tired of having the same person in there for so many years. Carla Garrick, it appears, does not get tired. She's uh, running as a Republican, by the way. You know, it's really gotten to the point where free staters have so many options now for running and you know the the first one to run for state rep successfully uh, he ran as a democrat there are a, you know several others that have successfully run as democrats and maybe more than several they have more success as republicans and now there you know now there's the libertarian party that they can they can use since the libertarian party has uh, regained ballot, ballot access It's really weird to see so much activity by political folks. It's almost all I have to talk about. And so little activity by civil disobedience folks. It's sort of the reverse of what we had seven or eight years ago, it seems. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at (laughs) sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. 
But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.